Hello YouTube, I'm Peter and welcome to my kitchen. So today I decided to make something a wee bit different. They're my layered mango, white chocolate and coconut slices. I think that they taste amazing. They are one of my favourites already. So on the bottom is a coconut chicon sponge, gluten free. Then we have a layer of white chocolate ganache, a layer of mango mousse and then mango jelly on top. They're quite stagey and can be a wee bit fiddly. But if you take it step by step, you'll be sure to get some really great results at the end. And I think that you'll be really pleased with what comes out. So I hope you enjoy the video. First of all, we need to make the coconut chacon sponge. Whisk the egg whites until they reach stiff peaks. Then whisk in the granulated sugar a spoon at a time until a stiff and shiny meringue is formed. All of the ingredients for this recipe are listed in the description below. Now whisk the whole egg with the icing sugar until pale and thick and it holds a ribbon-like trail. Gently fold the meringue into the egg mixture. Just before it's completely incorporated, fold in the desiccated coconut, flour and cooled melted butter. Don't over mix this at this point, you need to try to retain the light texture. Spread this out onto a flat tray lined with non-stick baking paper and bake in a preheated oven at 170 degrees Celsius, 340 degrees Fahrenheit fan for about 7 to 8 minutes and lightly golden. Once the sponge is baked, peel off the paper and trim it to the size of your frame. Next we need to make the chocolate ganache. Bring the cream to the boil, then take it off the heat and stir in the white chocolate until it's all one smooth mixture. It's that simple. Cover it and leave it to cool slightly at room temperature. Now, fit your square sponge into the frame and pour on top the slightly cooled ganache. Level it off with an offset palette knife and leave it in the fridge to set. The next job to do for this awesome cake is to make the mango mousse. First of all, boil up the mango smoothie and reduce it by about half. Pass this through a sieve into a measuring jug and measure out 400 mils of this thick smoothie. Whilst you're boiling off the smoothie, whisk together the egg yolks and 110 grams of the sugar until very pale and thick. Whisk in the 400 mils of hot smoothie and then return to a very low heat, stirring constantly. You need to cook out this custard until it just thickens or it reaches about 80 degrees Celsius, 175 degrees Fahrenheit on a thermometer. Make sure you don't let the custard boil or else it could curdle. Take the custard off the heat, squeeze out the water from the soaked gelatin and stir it into the hot custard. Cover this and leave it to cool. The next stage for the mousse is to make an Italian meringue. Put the remaining 240 grams of sugar into a saucepan with the water and stir over a high heat until the sugar has dissolved. Once this has happened, leave the sugar on the heat without stirring it. When the sugar mixture comes up to the boil, you can begin to whisk the egg whites to stiff peaks. Once the sugar reaches 121 degrees Celsius, 250 degrees Fahrenheit on a sugar thermometer, you can take it off the heat and slowly pour the sugar in a steady stream down the side of the whisking egg whites. Leave the mixer on high speed until meringue has cooled down to room temperature and is lovely, thick and glossy. The last part for the mousse is to whip up the cream to soft peaks. When the mango custard is cool, pour it in with the meringue and mix it in. Then fold through the whipped cream 
until it's all combined into one smooth, moussey mixture. Pour the mousse on top of the set ganache so that it is a little over an inch deep. If you pour in too much, the slices won't stand up when you cut them. Level off the mousse and put it back in the fridge to set. I should be putting up a video soon to show you what you can do with any leftover mousse. Now we move on to making the jelly. This starts with a stock syrup. Bring 50 grams of sugar up to the boil with 50 mils of water, stirring all the time until the sugar has dissolved. Transfer this into a measuring jug and add the soaked gelatin sheets, stirring until they dissolve. Then add in mango cordial to make the mix up to 225 mils. Now leave this to cool. Once the jelly has cooled down to room temperature, you can gently pour it on top of the set mousse. Let the jelly set in the fridge, then put the cake into the freezer for about 30 minutes. This will make slicing a lot easier. Whilst the cake is chilling, you can make the garnishes to go on top. I finely diced some mango and mixed through some lime zest. Then I made some tiny teardrops from dragging the back of a spoon through some melted white chocolate. Once the cake is very cold, use a blowtorch or a hot damp cloth to loosen the cake frame. Trim the edges of the cake with a long sharp knife and then cut in half to make slicing more manageable. Using a ruler, measure out the slices. I got 16 slices from this cake, about an inch wide for each one. Cut down in one smooth motion, then use an offset palette knife to lift up the slice and transfer it to another tray. If the cake becomes difficult to slice at any point, put it back in the freezer for a couple of minutes to firm up. Arrange the slices on a nice plate or board, then top them with your decoration of choice. Leave the slices in the fridge until you're ready to serve them. They will keep for about two or three days in the fridge, but they also freeze very well. Just defrost them overnight in the fridge and they will be perfect, as if you made them on that day. I'm actually entering these in a school staffy pupils bake off tomorrow, so uh, I hope that they're going to do well, and I'll see how that goes. Thanks very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe, and also go and check out some of my other videos that I've linked in the description below. Thanks very much for watching guys, I'll see you soon, bye!